Welcome to the Chef's Bar, a front row seat for a family-style feast thrown down by me, Craig Harding, and my fellow chef and restaurant owner, Rob Rossi. Each week, we'll invite three special guests to hang out at the bar and watch us cook up rustic dishes inspired by our travels abroad. Welcome to the Chef's Bar at uh, Mila Gallery Kaplan's. Thank you so much for taking some time, you know, coming and hanging out with us. We're going to drink some amazing drinks, care of you. We're going to eat some food. We're both going to hack away with our knives and do a little cooking. Yeah. We're going to be doing a episode that's kind of near and dear to Rob's heart and mine. I love to eat these things. Rob loves to eat them and make them. It's a burger cook-off. He's going to make one and I'm going to make a completely separate one. And oh, yeah. we're just going to enjoy it and see who comes out with the better it's not a comp Oh, it's a competition. <laughs> I don't know, I just made it one, okay? It's okay, it is Pony up, let's uh, um, yeah. We have Nigel French here from Food & Liquor. Thanks for having me, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Great to have you here, you're gonna make a few cocktails for us. I'm looking forward to that. I think we all are. Good. Yeah, Good. yeah, for sure. Um, and Lindsay Drennan, my fiance, uh, photographer. Thank you so much, I'm looking forward to uh, having your burgers, since uh, burgers is one of the things that uh, me and Rob love most. Oh God. <laughs> and uh, Frank Venditti, very good friend of mine and, and Craig's. Yeah. Uh, professional chef, so it's nice to have you here as well. And you've eaten a lot of burgers. Yes. I've I seen you eat a burger at Pastelin in 60 seconds. Yes. Yeah, welcome, Frank. Thank you for having me. Can't wait to eat your greasy meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, yeah, we want to. We just want to make a couple of cool burgers. And yeah. uh, and two sides, too. Like and I'm a gonna... couple of little sides. Yeah, I'm going to do some fried shishito peppers and yeah. a little tempura, something crispy to eat. He's going to do a nice little potato salad. Food, so. Totally. Should we get uh, something rolling here with drinks, Nigel? What are we planning on mixing for us? Well, today I'm planning on doing a last word, which okay. is an old classic cocktail which was pushed out and then revived back in 2004. So equal parts of uh, gin, Dylan's gin, uh, Luxardo Maraschino liqueur, uh, green chartreuse, and lime juice. I do a lot of stuff with green chartreuse because it's probably one of my most favorite things to drink. How would you describe, like, what is green chartreuse? So green chartreuse is a, it's a liqueur that's made by French monks. And uh, a mix of 130 different herbs and botanicals. Similar to the Italian one, Chantab. Similar to that. Oh yeah. Oh, it kind of smells yeah. like, like I love a I Campari love or something bitter. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. pretty much. Oh my god, I love it. Look, that's a, that's right. a wicked Cheers, color. Cheers, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having Thank you for having It's been a while. It's been a long time. <laughs> that's, that's good. Awesome. I really like that. Yeah, I can crush those all day. In my opinion, when you make a burger, you need to have, and Frank would probably agree with this, you need to have a good lean meat and you need to have some fatty stuff. Mm -hmm. And the mixture should be pretty like, I, I don't know, I think I do like 80, 20, 20% 20 fat. Because if you do more than that, it just renders out and it becomes just kind of gross. Okay. So what I do is I do short rib um, and I do chuck. Yeah. But at the restaurant, I put in some dry aged meat. Um, and it gives it that kind of rich taste. Yeah, that extra flavor. And I also grind it twice. But in this case, I only did short rib. Um, so like I said, it's got a lot of like, a lot of um, really tough meat, but when it's ground, it's got that real beefy kind of taste and it's got the nice kind of fat to get things crispy. Totally. So yeah, let's get going. I'm only gonna do four. I'm not even gonna really be fancy with this. It's not a fancy burger day. Oh, no, that's fair. It's fair? That's fair. <laughs> I'm, I'm down with a good greasy burger. Oh, this is gonna be a greasy burger. You know what, I'm gonna start my side dish. I'm gonna do a potato salad. I think like, you know, when, when the weather's good, you've got a burger on the grill. I think a nice like, like vinegar, like a vinegar based potato salad for me yeah, is just that. vinegar, oil, garlic, and parsley. Love it. That's it. That's how my mother used to do it. It's an Italian yeah, it's like Italian salad. Italian thing, yeah. Like, for sure. It's very straightforward. How big do you like, you know, how These big? These are, I, so, these are probably size six matters, ounces, right? Oh my god. Size does matter in a way, yeah. In a burger, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> you know what's nice too? When the meat's fresh, you can actually cook it medium rare. And, you know, it's not gonna, like, you don't have to worry about anything. I mean, not that you really should worry anyway, but it's always, if you're gonna serve something, especially that's ground, and you wanna serve it pink, have it fresh. So if people are making these at home, if they're going to the grocery store, you can't cook that meat medium rare, can you? No. Well, you know what? I wouldn't I wouldn't entirely trust it only because I mean I only trust what I do. I don't yeah, trust yeah, yeah. you know, I don't know I don't know what it's like at the grocery store. I, I know that I, I can trust myself and, and my cooks and you know what? I'm gonna like I'm gonna do something a little different. I know, you're probably gonna keep yours really, really simple. But <laughs> Yeah, I am. But I'm gonna like I'm gonna like load mine up like 
with all kinds of extra stuff. I have, wait till you see what I got. <laughs> Craig's gonna work on his potatoes. Yeah. I'm He's nice kind of working on his filling. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm gonna just get some bacon going and I'm gonna start with my, my burger. We'll get you guys eating it. And then Craig's gonna pile into his. I don't even really ever put bacon on a burger, but I thought this one should have it. Well, if you're gonna go, you're gonna make a dirty burger. Right. Okay, so that's gonna, that's going, potatoes are going. I need a little garlic. Have you guys, um, have you guys ever had shishitos? So I'm gonna be, um, doing something kind of different, because usually sometimes they just grill them, but lately at the restaurant, I've been actually tempura, a little tempura, and then deep fry them. Ooh. And they're so good, like, it, it, it like keeps you wanting to eat them. We're gonna use this really cool uh, miele wok, induction oh. wok, which is awesome. Yeah, totally. Okay, awesome. I mean, caramelized onions is almost like we're sweating the onion out. You're developing sweetness, you're developing a depth and a base of flavor. Yeah, and just taking that kind of... And just, Take, yeah, taking the it. rawness out of it, but it, it will it will certainly because you do caramelized onions on your yeah, burger, right? We do. Yeah. And do you like add anything to it? Do you add any like veal sauce or? No, or nothing. I mean, they get cooked down with a little bit of butter. Yeah. Uh, we actually use clarified butter too, nice. and then uh, real fancy. Yeah, real fancy. <laughs> and then with a little bit of salt, and just they just start to yeah. stew actually, and then after about three hours, they just turn to like a sweet brown. Amazing. The thing is too, yeah, you can't you can't rush it. It's not point rushing it. Okay, so Rob's already like ready to go on his burger. I haven't even done, I haven't even finished mixing mine. So I've got these onions. Uh, I've got uh, some chopped green olives. So I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna give it some nice like. Interesting. I like the idea of that. Because yeah. I love olives, right? Yeah. So like I, I could. I think the texture would be nice. The texture right? would be nice. So kind of like a little boom. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting texture for sure. So I'm just gonna like mix this all around. And that's standard protocol for you to add hot Onions to a cold burger, mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were, I cooled them off in the bowl before I added them. <laughs> you need your ice bath out? They, okay, they'll so. They'll cool it off quickly. Yeah, exactly. Let's do some uh, salt, some pepper, and then we'll start searing these guys. Okay. Okay, burger's going in, guys. Are you gonna actually just cook them right into the pan? Like they're gonna cook through in the pan? Yes, 100%. I'm not gonna put these in the oven. I just wanna get a hard sear on them. Yeah. On both sides. There you go, there's that, there's that pepper. Yeah. And they should caramelize pretty quickly because there's some of that dry aged meat in there too. So that stuff tends to get dark really fast. God, they smell absolutely. Yeah, no, they're gonna be amazing. I'm gonna like, I know you're gonna put cheese on top, but I wanna put cheese like right in the middle. Stuff it, right? Yeah, I'm stuffing them, man. Yeah, man, you're good at stuffing things. Whatever. So you're just okay. stuffing it with cheese over there, Craig? Yeah. He's stuffing. doing like a Juicy Lucy. Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> you guys are okay with medium rare, really obviously. Good. We're gonna be really tasty. Perfect. They're all changing their mind, Craig. Yeah. They're all like, oh, no, 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 plain, plain, plain. Now that everyone's like, oh, that's so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's I was with you from I, the beginning, I Craig. Love yeah. I love cheese. Okay, guys, I'm gonna flip these. Put some color. Nice beer on those. If you want, I can do these for your wedding, eh? If you like them, hey. I, I don't mind. Hey, midnight burgers. Mini burgers, midnight. Yeah, mini mini I'll burgers, do little midnight. Mini sliders. Yeah, mini midnight. Sliders. Yeah, yeah. Street style. Burgers are a greasy ordeal, eh? God, they're a delicious ordeal, eh? Oh yeah. Okay, so just because they're not that thick, as soon as we get color on the other side, I'm just gonna take them off. I'm not even gonna kind of. What? Can you awesome. just do me a favor? Can you crank my um, yeah. potatoes back on there? These are induction? Yeah, they're, induction. they're amazing. Yeah. They're so yeah. fast. They're so, I can tell. I can tell how fast it actually heats up. So then you're gonna fry those peppers afterwards. Just fry them straight up. 
No, we're gonna do uh, some tempura. Oh, you're gonna ask Because I was thinking, like, you know, when you have a burger, you usually have like onion, something fried, right? I mean, you're not having a burger because you are healthy. Yeah, because I want to get a salad on the side. No, because we're hungover. Exactly, you're hungover. Yeah. You're you're just hungry. You just want to like indulge in something that you shouldn't really be. Eating. I need a vessel for hot sauce, and the burger is the best one. This Salamander. Wow. Super cool. Okay, so I'm gonna start frying these up, guys. A couple of these ready. God, I could run this cheese over the box grater all day. <laughs> awesome. It's nice and hot. We're dropping those guys in. Oh my god. Hey, pal, is that enough? That's perfect. Okay. Okay, cool. So, Craig, if you can watch these for me. Let me, uh, I've, let got me... An, I've got a plate uh, here. Yeah, great. Okay, so you're yeah. ready to rock. Get them gonna... crispy, just season them up. Okay. Crispy. Every time we fry something in this, honestly, it is, is the best. That's fast. Right? So oh. good. So the pep, hold up, sorry, the peppers are hard when they go in. It looks to me like they're obviously almost ready. Yeah. So when you take them out, is the inside not? It's cooked all the way. Really? Yeah, they're, they're not very, like, they're not thick. They're very thin peppers. Did but those look yet? great. We didn't get one yet. I can't okay. believe how well that, that wok is amazing. If I had that in my house, I would deep fry all day long. Do you be deep frying your underwear or? Uh, no, I don't wear any underwear, <laughs> sorry, but. Uh, and then I got divorced a year right. after. Okay, yeah. guys, okay. I'm putting the buzz in the Sally. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna season up these sashitos. Salt on there. God, they look good, eh? All right. It's, it's like toast. a James Bond movie. All right. Welcome to the club. Okay, I'm gonna put the cheese on these burgers and the bacon, and I'll start melting it in the Sally, and then we're gonna just assemble these real quick. Okay, so the cheese, guys, I have just some old, like, white cheddar, nothing crazy, but very tasty cheese. I grated it because I really wanted to get this, like, just, like, melted cap of it. Yeah, so we got the burgers lined up. Let's do this. Let's get these guys under. I'll start melting that. As soon as those are half melted, I'll put the bacon on, and then we'll kind of throw these together real quick. You guys want to try one of these peppers? Yes, yeah, please. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Try one. Let's grab it. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. It's so good, eh? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The texture. Nice, nice With batter. That tempura, yeah. I think the batter is better than the so pepper. Good. Mayo, which I normally don't put on burrs. I'm going to in this case. I think this this is like a complete opposite of a burger I would typically make, but okay, okay, okay. Cheese is melted. Let's put the bacon on. So oh my god. Love it. I think bacon on a burger. <sighs> Can't you wrong. To. You kinda have to. You got well, with a burger like this, you kinda have to. Alright, I gotta try that. Okay. Burgers are done. This nice. little guy's for us with the burnt bun, because the chefs always have to eat their mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that burger that looks, looks good. good. Looks yeah, so good. it's gonna be uh Okay, let's do this. Rob, you have good looking meat. Yeah, he does. I concur. Oh, yeah. oh, and we get a shishito pepper right on. In there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and just because we need a little bit oh. of sweet. See that thing there wrapped up? So, what are we adding here? Sandwich? This is a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's famous. <laughs> <laughs> You should just call these Look guys. At the side. That, that, guys, these birds. I'm telling burgers. you, you guys are gonna love these birds. Those are good lucky birds. Oh cool. my god. Nice yeah. Birds. Look at that thing. <laughs> Holy crap. Thanks for sitting through this greasy mess. Oh, We've got uh, some burgers here. White cheddar, bacon, and shishito pepper. Oh uh, wow. you're, you're a beauty. Look at the size of that. Oh, yeah. Look at the sweetness. Thank you. <laughs> this is a good burger. This burger is we got competition here, bro. What do you think, Glenn? This is good, man. It's almost as That's good as a the sick burger. Look at that. This is not bad, eh? Mm. You've done one too many That's burgers, really, eh? So God. He's, Robbie's mean at burgers. He's mean. I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to compete against that one. <laughs> There's nothing better than watching something going in Frank's mouth. <laughs> Frank, you know what? You can eat with the best of them, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to eat your burger. Yeah, good. Yeah, I Save can. a little room. This is what I want at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. After having a you know exactly. a big night at the bar, which is usually Monday when <laughs> industry folk come in, yeah. This is what I want the next day. You know, 
These potatoes went a little too long, but I took them out while they were still hot, just barely overcooked, and tossed it with raw garlic and white vinegar. And I mean like the ghetto cleaning white vinegar. Yeah. Nothing nice. The one that no, you no, polish no, your furniture The one you polish your furniture <laughs> with. Furniture. Yeah, okay. yeah you're, you know, your felt furniture. <laughs> yeah. The one that's covered in plastic. <laughs> I always love overcooked potatoes yes. because when you toss it, Look at that. you get all the bits that come off and it almost becomes creamy. You're right. You know what? Yes. It's maybe so these good. Are, maybe these aren't overcooked. Maybe they're perfect. They're perfect. No, they're nice. I, they, I, that's okay. what I, I remember my mother doing that. You want some pepper in there? Okay. So, they're there. Two more things that, that are going to finish this off. Parsley. Okay. And if you wouldn't mind drizzling a little bit of uh, olive oil. Perfect. Look at that, just right in there. Oh, that's good. Like, there's, there's that's nothing good. fancy that's about money. this, right? That's, that's money. it? It's money. Yeah, that's, that's it. Money. Easy peasy. That's, money. that's a potato Here's salad. You got lobster going on here. Okay. What's the lobster going? Well, you know, I thought the burger would be good on its own with the cheese and the olives and whatever and a little bit of mayo, but I thought, why don't we just take it to the next level and put some lobster on it? I right? like the lobster. You're gonna go a little crazy. Okay. Okay. What happened to the other claw? Uh, there was more claw, but Rob, if I, I did have a little, little canopy like, <laughs> before. Uh... I had to try it. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. You gotta taste test. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of mayo with a little bit of celery, okay? Nice. Honestly, like that. there's nothing that fancy. That is so good. We, I, I'm with you. I love celery so I much. love celery. It's, it's so underrated. Part. Okay, so, so good. just like uh, Rob did, I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, veg oil in here. I'm gonna season with, I don't wanna go crazy because again, there's uh, salt, yes. you know, there's yeah. brininess in the olives. So I'm gonna go probably just a little lighter than Rob was doing, but I do wanna put lots of butter. Do you still salt both sides or just one? Both sides. I love black pepper. Oh man, me too. Have you ever done black olives in it? No, it's always, again, this is sort of Alex's recipe. She she makes these, it's her, burgers are her thing. I took more meat than you. It's okay, it's good. These burgers, when they're cooking, the smell that comes off of them is yeah, it's just crazy. It smells That's great. Good. Exactly. Yeah, it smells good. My mom used to make burgers with breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, and eggs, and onions. Yeah, soup it's like powder. making a meatball. Like that mix. Yes, like onion powder. That stuff is delicious. Yeah. The onion I'm powder and the garlic powder was like the bottom of the buns, that please. Was, uh, yes. That was money. You can't go wrong, but this, I can't wait to yeah, taste. Some, you know, I feel yeah. like this is good, but it just needs a little bit of lemon to like kick up this. Yeah, just a little oh, lemon juice. Add a nice brightness to it. Is that yeah. what you're doing? Yeah. The smell just, coming off that from the olive. Right now, yeah. I'm craving it. I want that cheese inside there. I want it to like ooze in yeah. my mouth. This isn't a porno, Frank. Calm down. <laughs> because I don't want to put the like lobster right on a hot like. I'm gonna just have a little bit of lettuce. A little, to give little, us little buffer oh, zone. Lettuce on top. Separation. There's your what, kind of, what kind of lettuce is that? This That's is Boston pretty. bib lettuce. Oh, I like Beautiful, that. nice and buttery. Yes. You know, like kind of mellow, nothing crazy. It's not gonna slide out because it's so hard and crunchy. Okay. Get this it's on here. Eh? Take a bite of something and the burger. Yeah, the out. whole thing comes out. It's like you might as well just put it on a plate. That looks good, buddy. It looks great. What buds? I would have enough for five, except Rob ate that one. <laughs> the lobster claw. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Boom. So, Craig. Yo, I have never made this before at all. Um, I've made the base, like with the olives and everything. I just never put lobster on it. I just thought, I don't know why. Let's just enjoy it. I, I'm sorry to do this, but I think I may have just made the best burger you've ever tasted. It is a green olive and Beamster stuffed burger with a little bit of Atlantic lobster with mayonnaise and celery. Oh, yeah. That looks so good, good. It looks Thank good, you. buddy. Dig in. And oh. yeah, Nona's famous potato salad. So creamy. I love Nona. Rob, wow, let's have a little taste of it. Yeah, let's have a little taste. That oh. chips. Are we doing a burger cheers? Yeah, we do have to do a burger cheers. cheers. Burger yeah. cheers. Burger cheers. cheers. All right. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh my god. Craig wins, hands down. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. This is a good burger. Mm. Oh my god. Really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good burgers. They're both delicious. I think if yeah. I didn't eat you so much lobster in the beginning, they're, they're totally different burgers. Yeah. yeah. But they're both great. Yeah. Great burgers. I'll put it up for you. Like, no, not. I love it.
Potato is so good. Potatoes are good, eh? Raw garlic. With, when you, you actually toss it with the yeah. raw potatoes, mm. yeah, it cooks it just a little, you know? It's just so really good. nice. It's not, it is raw, but it still gets a little heat mm. from the potatoes, you know? It blends in. And that vinegar. Oh, the vinegar. Oh. So good. Yeah. Yeah. When I was growing up, there was no such thing of any other vinegar other than white vinegar. No, that's it, right? That's it. That's all you had. That's it. What? Brings me back. Yeah, it does. When I was it? 10 years old. Thank you. You're welcome. I, this I, is I'm good. Glad. Good food. Thank you very much, guys. This is so good, honestly. Yeah, yeah it's a good, very good burger. To be honest, the big star was actually the meat. Yeah. So both yeah. burgers had great meat, that aged fat. Yeah. Just that sealed the deal. I think that both of the burgers were fantastic and I may get prosecuted when I get home, but I have to go with my roots and I think sometimes yes. the more ingredients, the better. That's right. You can't choose between the two burgers because they were both different. You know, you had the bacon, I love bacon. I love, I love it. I just want to sleep. Okay. So. Bacon? Okay. <laughs> and, and then you had the cheese in the middle that I love burgers that have cheese in it. Yeah, and I, the first olives. time with olives, but the olives with the good. lobster on top, yeah, added a little twist to it. Yeah. But they were both great. So oh, make a but, decision okay, in your you life, know what? Frank. It's, it's my buddy Rossi. I like <laughs> bacon. There you go. See, he made a decision. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. And I just I haven't, listened. I haven't, okay. like, I haven't slept with him enough, so it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, well, guys, one more cheers. Woo! Woo! Burger Wars. Thank you for coming. Thanks for hanging out with us. It was a us. pleasure having you. Having me? There Thanks for the great cocktail. Pleasure Fruit. having me? <laughs>